Genesis chapter 14 And it came to pass in the days of Amraphel king of Shinar, Arioch king of Elasar, Keterleomer king of Elam, and Tidal king of nations, that they made war with Bera king of Sodom, Beersha king of Gomorrah, Shinab king of Adma, Shemeber king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is, Zoar. All these joined together in the valley of Siddim, that is, the Salt Sea. Twelve years they served Keterleomer, and in the thirteenth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Keterleomer and the kings that were with him came and attacked the Rephaim in Ashtaroth Karnaim, the Zuzim in Ham, the Emim in Sheva Kiriathaim, and the Horites in their mountain of Seir, as far as El Paran, which is by the wilderness. Then they turned back and came to En Mishpat, that is, Kadesh, and attacked all the country of the Amalekites, and also the Amorites, who dwelt in Hazizon Tamar. And the king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Adma, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is, Zoar, went out and joined together in battle in the valley of Siddim, against Kederleomer, king of Elam, Tidal, king of nations, Amraphel, king of Shinar, and Arioch, king of Elasar, four kings against five. Now the valley of Siddim was full of asphalt pits, and the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled. Some fell there, and the remainder fled to the mountains. Then they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all their provisions, and went their way. They also took Lot, Abram's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. Then one who had escaped came and told Abram the Hebrew, for he dwelt by the terebinth trees of Mamre the Amorite, brother of Eshkel, and brother of Aner, and they were allies with Abram. Now when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his three hundred and eighteen trained servants who were born in his own house, and went in pursuit as far as Dan. He divided his forces against them by night, and he and his servants attacked them and pursued them as far as Hobah, which is north of Damascus. So he brought back all the goods, and also brought back his brother Lot and his goods, as well as the women and the people. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him at the valley of Sheva, that is, the king's valley, after his return from the defeat of Kedarlaomer and the kings who were with him. Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth, and blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him a tithe of all. Now the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the persons and take the goods for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand to the Lord, God Most High, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will take nothing from a thread to a sandal strap, and that I will not take anything that is yours, lest you should say, I have made Abram rich, except only what the young men have eaten, and the portion of the men who went with me, Aner, Eshkel, and Mamre, let them take their portion. 